Okay, hey YouTube, it's MC Mike Crick here, and this is not a copyright video, and this is not, <coughs> this is not the only one that's been copyrighted for a whole day. So I've been, so I've been, uh, uploading this one, it's like, since, like, forever now, and so, roughly, this video has kept on making me all lose lose control for everything. So once you got copyrighted for songs, next one the next one that copyrighted for for everything, I guess. So this is my normal my normal review of these movies. Okay. So I'll make it one quick thing. So so the movies that, that Bob Show um, reviewed, that I'm gonna do them right now, and not fooling around or just make music out of it. I'm being serious right now. I am being serious. Okay. So this one movie I'm talking about here is the Panda, the Little Panda Fighter. So. This movie is really, 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 really blows for one for one re for one reason. That is a, a ripoff of Kung Fu Panda because I hate Kung Fu Panda. I hate this movie and I hate DreamWorks for this for this mess up of a of a show like this. So basically, this is my review. <coughs> so a little panda fire. A little Panifier is not that good. I hate it. I really hate it. I want it to be out of the garbage for much longer so much. So I get more deeper in the film. So um basically this movie is not that good. It's really not that good at all. I hate it so much. I don't care. I, I don't care if I watch the movie or not. It's really not that good. <laughs> because um really though, I never Realize, I never realized how. I never realized um. This movie has gained attention for most viewers, like for most YouTubers, like I Hate Everything Guy and Bob Show. You know the the off face, the, um, the online face of. Every movie has its own has its own stuff, but exactly though, this is another thing that I am talking about here. So basically, Cub Panda, I mean, <laughs> the little panda fire, was kind of kind of rip off a Cub Panda, because you know, Uh, sorry about that. So you know that this uh, this basically is because you know the same the same story, but not enough animation because this is like from a PS2 PS2 game PS2 kind of kind of game. It's like a PS2 game for most of it. You know this, this movie is really not popular for many YouTubers who never review this stuff. And believe me, I already did. So, be right back. I had to drink some water.
sorry, I'm, I'm back. I was, uh, more, because um, I was a little, little choked right now. So, basically, this movie is not that good. I hate it so much. So, if you watch this movie, I, I enjoy not watching this movie. I really enjoy not to. Sorry, um, I might edit, I might edit out. So basically, yeah, it's not that perfect. I might, I might edit, I might edit it out because usually, <laughs> because usually, it is not that great. So this movie not that great. I hate it. I really hate it so much. It's my worst movie thing ever. I don't, I don't understand why I had to do, I had to do this thing over again. It's just, I don't know why. So, so this movie is not that good. So, basically, <coughs> uh, so basically though, this movie is not that good, for my example. <coughs> this movie has many flaws. I'm not talking about any flaws. This is a one flaw that has many of them with flaws. So basically, <laughs> all right. So basically, this movie not has many flaws in, in my own life. So trust me, I lived them. I lived them. Ready? <laughs> Tell me. Trust me, I lived them already. So, so basically. This movie is really aw really awful, <laughs> and it's really not that good, <laughs> and I hate it so much, it's really not that good for me, because I really hate it so much, I hate it so much down my heart, I really hate it so much, because this movie is really awful, my god, how many times does this movie had to got another attention for me. None, alright? None of it. So, without any uh, audio that I never used, this movie is really that, it's really that complicated to me because, <coughs> because of this movie is not that good. So, basically, So basically, it's not that good for one reason, because of many flaws inside this stuff. Because usually, it does not, is not, it does not even accept it for once at all. So, what I'm saying is that I give, I give this movie, I'll give this movie zero out of zero points because this movie is the worst movie ever okay this movie is the worst movie ever come on it's like really that really that kind of movie that has a bunch of all of it inside one thing so basically you know i hate this movie so much i get a movie i gave this movie like zero zero as zero points because it's not that good. It's really not that good at all. Because it's not that good as a movie. It's not really good. But if you if you're into the rip off of Cobra Panda, please don't watch this. Watch something else like uh, like um some ancient kiss shows around here. But not this show. Come on, but not this show right here. Or not a show, it's a movie. All right. I don't watch the movie. Watch the movie right here though. Come on, a panda. A panda. Really? A panda. You make a movie about panda. Man, how many times have I ever heard this before? Oh yeah. 500 times this movie has cliches with panda. Because though, you know why? It sucks. For most of it. And I hate it. I want out there, I want out there for completely, forever. So, basically, it's not the movie I could watch or understand 
how many times it's, it's really hatred about this stuff. So, it's not that good a movie, so <laughs> if you ever watch this movie ever again, please stop yourself from watching it. Please. This movie is skip worth. It's worth skipping a lot for movies. Besides, do not think about the little panifier ever again because this movie is awful. Okay? I I get it. People like people like, people like the movie because real CGI is terrible. How about CGI and God and computer God emulation? Not CGI means computer generated image, but CGI is some other stuff. This movie is like a CGI worst nightmare. So. Tell me, it's worse than Kung Fu Panda, Kung Fu Panda series, for trilogy, I gotta say, for, for most of it. And, so, uh, so, believe me that I never, hmm, my god, I never understand this movie at all. Every time... I want to know about everything. This movie has to come first. Okay? I'll give this movie a skip. So now, and now, that's my take on a Blue Panda fighter. Again. And up next, I'll be doing Blue Cars 1 in The Great Race. <sighs> Why, why, why? Why, oh why, oh why? Why do you have to disgrace Disney for most of the hatred around the world? Because the Disney movie of Cars is very similar, it's very similar to... It's very similar to, uh... Damn it, it's really similar to. It's really similar to Cars, but it's really similar to The Little Cars 1 in The Great Race. Oh boy, how many times this movie got really flawed because I made this movie too many times and this movie had not got a review out of. So, this movie is really awful. I hate it, and I should hate it too. So basically, I hate it mostly, because I never wanted to know what movie this is. Because I know what movie this is, because no one else can do it. It's The Little Cars 1, and The Great Race. Oh, oh my god, please, this movie is awful. Get me out of there. Every time I watch this movie, it's been a lot this time. This is like one of those movies that has many flaws with with Disney. So basically, it's not that good. So, for my example, this movie goes down the toilet while this other movie goes down the toilet with, with them, with them for most of it. So. I'm basically not saying anything else, but usually this movie is not, not that good. It's really not that good. I hate it. It's really child, really childish this movie is because I don't understand how, I don't understand how many times that, that like, many, many of the movies are like, really bad or not. So, basically this movie, this movie is really bad. I hate it so much, and probably this movie will want to be thrown out thrown out to the garbage and made and made it to another to no stop. <laughs> yeah. That kind of movie that has many stops. So basically it's really, really really This movie's really, really, 
really awful. So, the movie's really awful. I hate it. And you never want to see it again. So, basically, it's really awful. Besides, though, mm, I hate how Disney does make popular movies than, than this. Because it's really not that helpful. Really. Really not that helpful for a movie. So this movie's really got nothing to do. So basically, it's really awful. Okay, I hate this movie so much. This movie had nothing to do with it. And, and most of all, it's a, it's a spin-off or something of Cars. Or a parody of Cars. You, you put the little car one in The Great Race into a, a great scene. But I'm not buying it. So basically, I'll give this movie a wait. Before I give this movie a zero out of zero points, I like to say that I never saw it. Okay? I never saw it. I never will be. I never do. Because if you want me to, if you comment below saying I, if, um, if, if you like want to see a movie so badly, so please don't tell me to do it. Just do. Just watch some like. Just watch some other TV shows. Or not or, or other movies are like really good and popular enough to do it. So, oh my god! So basically, this movie is really awful. I hate it. I hate. I hate it. It's really awful. I hate it so much, and it's not that popular of a movie. It is. So basically, I'll give this movie zero as a point. Cause this movie, it's really that awful. Because though, it's really that awful. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's really awful. It's only garbage. I hate it. Okay? So, that's my turnaround on The car, the Little Cars 1 in Great Race. So, so basically this movie not that good. I hate it so much. And then I hate this is more than hate. This movie I'm talking about here is Gladiformers. Something Gladiformers, whatever. So, so what did Michael? What should Michael Bay do? What would Michael Bay do? WWMB. D. What would Michael Bay do? My God, this movie, um, basically Gladiform Gladiformers. Come on! If you put platformers in one different place, you got nothing. You, you got nothing like not, nothing like pal. Nothing in life, pal. Like, come on! You not actually believe this movie is, is like good, is a good movie or not? So it's it is not. It's a rip off of platformers. I get it. this movie has a little bit of. Reference inside there, but it's Gladiformers. Come on, don't you see it? It's Gladiformers, not the other part. It's Gladiformers. And BRB, I got to take up. I had to take up. I had to take up my account.
Okay, so I'm back. So I thought, what I talk about again? Oh yeah, glad platformers. So platformers. This movie, it's really awful. For me, for me, points I did. So it's really awful. I hate it so much. I understand. I understand this movie is like rip, is rip off of Transformers, but it is. It really is though. When if like Michael Bay watching this, watching this movie, he'll be laughing out loud. So basically, not that good. Really, not that good. So I'm really flawed about this movie because uh, who know who does it? Who who does it though? Like I know. This movie is not that good. It's a ripoff of Transformers. Because it's that not good of a movie to do. So So basically this movie's not that good. I hate it. I want out I want I want out I want out the out of the air out of nowhere. So I want this movie out of the, out of the garbage because who knows about this movie? Who knows about this one? Because I don't know. I don't get anything. Besides, it really sucks. Beep boop pop beep. Because Transformers, Gladformers, same thing. Just different flaws we have with them. There are many flaws, I have no problem with it, but I have problems with it though. It's a big mess for all of it. Yeah, and um, so basically it's not that good. <laughs> it's not that good anyway, because it's not that good in the movie, because usually it's really awful. <laughs> it's really awful by, by one stance because I don't get it. I don't get this movie at all. I don't really I don't I don't get it. Every time I just want a diff perfect movie though, stuff happens. Like like for example Like for example this movie, it's awful. Gladiformers is awful. Transformers is kind of awful, but it's kind of awful. I, I, I took it from, I took it from Bob Show who review it, and basically he doesn't like it, or not. I might say review it or not. I just don't understand. So basically, this movie's awful. I hate this movie, and I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what platform it is. I want out, out, out there, and seriously, who knows about this movie? Who knows? But before I give this movie zero out of zero stars, I mean points. It's been great that I never reviewed this stuff before because some of music are kind of copyrighted. Sorry about that. I apologize. I apologize for copyright stuff on it. So, the hell. So basically, though, this movie. Is great. So back to the movie. So I'll give this movie. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I give this movie zero out of zero stars. Okay, not star points. Okay, because of different flaws. <laughs> different flaws because of different times they screw up. Okay? So this movie is awful. I hate it. I really do hate it. I want this out of my TV for one second. So this movie's not that good. I don't like it at all. For one sample of it. Okay? So that is my take on of Gladiformers. And I wish I would never do it again. Alright? So, and now I am doing this review of The Frog Prince. Wow, you actually name it Disney? You name it The Frog Princess, but now 
from the Spanish, the Spanish, uh, or Spain, I gotta say, um, of a, of a company. I don't know what that is. So, suddenly though, I never like this movie. It called Frog Prince, and I don't get it. How it ends like this? I never saw it. I never saw the movie of it. I never actually noticed everything of it. I never think of it. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. Okay. Good. This movie is awful. It's not the classic fan. It's not a classic fairy tale. It is. It's the classic reality. Cause face it, it's a frog in a crown who is about to get a kiss from a princess out of nowhere from the castle from the castle somewhere with some cliche of cliche a cliche of parents who never who never liked their daughter much. So because I heard this story before. I really do. I heard a story before and in, um, in the movie Shrek. So, in the movie Shrek before, because uh, the story begins with a frog kept on begging the princess to kiss him as he turns to, to the guy. But face it though, it would never happen. It never happened though. Because um It was that kind of movie though. Because, you know, bosses. So Face it, face it though, you cannot kiss a frog who has diseases all over. Because in fairy tale, you could, but in reality, it's not. Okay? Because a frog may carry diseases, and suddenly the princess will get sick and ill and dies. Alright? So you can tell, can you tell you, you can like name yourself a toad. And name it the Toad Prince. Because you got diseases from it. If you kiss a frog, boom, you're dead. You're dead, Dan, boom. So this movie is not, not a fairy tale. This movie is not a classic. It's an old reality. Okay, you could name it the old, the old reality of the frog. The Toad Prince. Because they could have named that one earlier. But no, they have to go to the Frog Prince. Come on. A, a frog wearing a crown? Come on, you unexpected bastards. What kind of stuff do you ever do in your life? Okay, come on, really? You name, you name a movie called A Frog Prince. How about calling it A King of Frogs? Or the king of prince, as a matter of fact, and you leave that there, but no. You actually have one job, movie, one job. You have to not release it on DVD or make a movie out of it, okay? Here's movie 101. Make a movie and make the action shot and make movies great. But you take it to a different way. You make movies worse, you make movie excellently worse, and you make movie really worse that has many flaws. God.
okay though. And this movie I meant flaws because usually it's not that kind of movie. You don't want to see. So think of it as a different fairy tale with different actors playing it. If you if you have a black actor, a black actress who played the black the black actor who has who has the same voice as as the other one is, you can make that as a great as a great as a great movie. But you take it differently. The Frog Prince doesn't actually work that way. Okay? Doesn't actually work that way. It has to be Anonymous for most of it, and believe me, you have it. You haven't changed a bit, Disney. You haven't changed a bit, because because this movie is a ripoff of Disney called The Frog Princess. So I know it. I know it because I know how many times this is a this is a ripoff of The Frog Princess. Because um, in the background it has leaves leaves in there and the and for our princess has leaves in the background but have enough to get a look. So basically this movie's not that good. I hate this movie. I want it out of the garbage. Besides face the facts. The frog carries disease and the princess will get ill and die and the whole world be collapsed. Thanks to that. Because this movie is not that good movie. That this is what you ruined your childhood with. Think about the movie as a fact. Face of fact face of fact though. The dog the toad carries diseases. The frog carries diseases. The the, the princess or a girl get ill from it. Was that kind of similar? And again she dies. So you made this movie toxic. For one, for one reason, because it makes us, so you want, you want people to think, you want to make people to think that frogs are cool, and you lick them, or not, or you kiss them, or not, because, because, um, because I don't, I don't get it though, how many, uh, I don't get it, how many, like, flosses do you know about this movie, like, come on, <laughs> you could make a better one. Just like you could make a better stuff than anything. So basically it's not really that great. So basically it's really that awful. <laughs> for take take for me though. It's an awful movie because I don't really have to uh, I don't really have to um I don't really have to like, I don't really have to know about this movie though, because the movie is really a fact that the, the toad or a frog carry diseases, and a girl or a princess kiss her from it, and he and suddenly he dies in the hospital. The end, folks. Besides, though, uh, this movie is awful. Why do you make a movie like this so taste badly? Try to tell your kids this in the future. I'm trying to ruin their childhood by telling them that the toad carries carry, carry diseases and the princess who kissed the toad was actually dead. So uh, that, that's, that's gonna be, that, 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 that will like, give your kids night, nightmare for a whole week without telling it. You not see a frog or, or probably a princess again. I think of this. I think of the event is really that awful. But I think of it is really that awful. So it's really that awful. So basically though, this movie is not that good. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. But two movies to go. But I hate it so much too. It's really not that good. Damn it. So oh my god. So this movie, I'll give this movie zero out of zero points. Just like in the little pantifier and the, the little cars one and gladiformers and and then the frog prince. 
great. So, so, um, so now, as I talk about, well, this movie reminds me of a different movie that has the dim resonance to, to a Disney, I know this movie that's not coming yet. So, I th now I'm talking about, what's up? No kidding, it's a movie. Blame it on that. What's up? Balloon, balloon to the rescue. Oh my god. Please, I'm not dreaming enough. Because this movie is really that awful. It's really that awful because I hate this movie so much. I want to be up there in the sky. But I want, I want it down because I could have said, what's what's down? Bottom to the to the hell pit. This movie is right down to hell. Because this movie gone right to the hell. Because, you know, it's really not awful the movie. So basically, it is really awful the movie. I hate it so much. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I hate it so much. Mm, my god. My god, though. Like, really? This movie is awful. I hate it so much. I really hate it so much. My god. Why do you make this movie so popular just these days? My god. This movie is awful. This movie is awful, okay? Well, I gotta say this movie is really awful because for many flaws that this movie is really that awful. I hate it. I really hate it because this movie is awful. I just don't want it. I don't want it that way because this movie is not that good. I want it out of the garbage for the rest, for the rest of my life. And it's really that awful. It's really that awful movie. I can't believe it made this movie a lot of times. So basically, this movie is really awful. I gotta say, it's really awful. It made my hair turns limb to limb from one second to to the other. But I think I think of this movie enough. Besides, though, it has a reference to the Ghostbusters that is rip off to. It has suits that represents the Ghostbusters uniform. And guns or lasers as the ghost trap. The ghost trap. So basically, this movie is that awful. <laughs> oh my god, this movie's awful. My god. Go put what's down, bottom of the earth. Okay. That means hell. In, in, in my in, in my language, so basically though, the movie is not giving a lot of attention, not a lot of the attention for most of it, because though I never like it for one single bit. Okay? This movie is... Ugh, sorry about that. Oh, God. So this movie is awful. I hate it so much. I don't get it. I don't get it, though. This movie has to be the worst movie of all time. Besides though, I look up online, it says, one of them says different movies all the time are, are, are the worst, and I pick, and like, I found this movie from the top, the top 10, or, or not, the top 10 ever. It's the worst CGI, then the little panda fire, and the little cars won in The Great Race, The Gladformers, and now this. Besides the name, the same company who made made a little pan fire or the little cars one or 
the glass blowers made this stuff out of nowhere. But if you tell me this, it's really that awful for me to do it. So basically though, I hate this movie so much. It is a rip off it is a rip off of two movies I ever don't like and saw. Was the Ghostbusters original and up. Pixar's up. Besides, I'm not doing this movies, so lay off. Okay? So I'll give this movie zero as zero points. Oh, or this movie could be called Error Points because this movie is awful. This movie is awful. I hate it so much. So, so importantly, I never hate. I never like it. I really don't like it at all. Besides, there were little air points. It's good for me. Because I never liked the movie at all. So basically, that's my take on of... That's my take on of... What's up? Balloon to the rescue. So... So my last movie review... Um, I'll leave it for the next one, but I'll leave it, I, I'm doing it now. But before I start my last review, I'll just say that I am deeply sorry that I copyrighted all the, all the music that they did. But CD Baby, but CD Baby, CD Baby was actually a channel that has most of everything. So, basically not that good enough. I typed that, I typed that name in, and it was actually a YouTube channel. So basically, that was poison. So, so my next, my last, my last review, this I already did, the little pan, the little panda fire, the worst DJ ever, the little cars one, and the great race, the worst DJ ever, Cloud Formers, the worst DJ ever, and what would Michael Bay do, and the Frog Prince, which is the fairy tale of the toad that got, that got disease and the and, and a prince who died from it, and the grim story from it. And what's up, Balloons to Balloons, Balloons Rescue? Worse than the little panda, the little cars one, and the little card one, and Gladiformers. So now this is the bottom of the barrel. I'm not talking about the YouTube channel, I'm talking about this. This is the bottom of the barrel for one single thing. So this movie is not that good, and it's really an offbeat. It's really an offbeat tone of any of this movie they ever dream, dream of. So, so. This movie is really awful. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> Alright, this movie is really awful. So let's put this movie I'm, I'm talking about here. Is that of Phil Brain review it and Bob Show review it? And now I will. So it's called And it's called And also Phil Brain did this stuff and Bob Show did it too. And it's called Rag Toying. Boy, am I just making things up. Am I making things up right now? Because this is like a real life movie it is. So So basically it's uh, basically is, uh, it's a ripoff of, Rat of Ratatouille, because it has an, off an offbeat tone, mm. 
an offbeat tone of the Pixar Ratatouille. <coughs> Besides, it has nothing to do with all the food that has to be nothing. It's, it, it's, it starts with um, <coughs> uh, usually a mouse hole with a restaurant that is really out of nowhere. Even the house is like unknown for most for most for most movie watchers. So mm -hmm. and no, I never I never watched a movie or seen it or probably heard about this. But in Film Brain Review and Bob Show review about this one. So Ratatouille is the awful show ever. <laughs> and um, they're right. There were general keys for kids who were, who were under the age of nothing. So apparently, this movie's awful. I hate it. It's really, really awful. It's really awful, this movie. I can't leave it. I can't leave it. Till I, I, I'll leave this movie to, to the last of it. Because the hell. I couldn't do this on this honorable mentions, but I can't. It's the awful movie ever. It really is. <laughs> no kidding. It's the awful movie ever. Who knows about this movie? Come on. It's really awful. <laughs> Come on. It's really awful. The worst CGI, the worst animation, the worst animation ever. Who made who made this movie? Like Michael like um God damn it. Who made this movie? Uh Johnny Depp as his own Creations to childhood. Who made a movie like uh, some directors? Some directors kid who draw who drew mouses and like suddenly one director said, "See the mouse is on a drawing." They put it, they put it, then they put it on on screen, and people just freaked out by it because why do mouses have to do anything? What they do? Come on, really? It is from like the other part of different animation about this thing. Because I'll leave this movie right at the end of it because it's really not that it's really not that good because it had the same it had it had the same logo as Rat Ratatouille but similar to it and it had the same characters or not with on with like Ratatouille because Ratatouille wow you could make a better movie than that. Rat Twain. Really. Hmm. But, uh, I understand that I never realized that how many people really not enjoy this movie. Because I love it when people don't, don't, don't even enjoy this movie. I love it every bit. Don't call me upset because I really am not. Don't call me up sick because I really am not. This movie, I, I would love it. This movie, I would love it if this movie had bad, had bad range for it. Had bad range for it as, as I do. Besides though, I wish I could put it as zero as zero points, but it has some other moments that's like really hateful. Most things. It's like one villain. Can, it's like who the villain is. Who the villain in this movie? Like who? Nobody, because it's not that personal a movie, and it takes time. It takes time to do it. So, for my example, this movie is awful. I hate it so much. I want it out of the garbage. So much laziness around here. So.
Alright, so I'm back. So I'm thing in this movie had not got and it had not got and it had not get any ratings for it because you know why? Because I I'll, I'll ask you why. Because this movie, Rag Toying, is not popular enough. Because you know why? It's not getting people enough attention to this. Besides though, it's a rip off a rat toy. Because you know, it is not great enough to be a movie. It's a low budget movie that has no idea whatsoever. But like, come on, really? You make actual none none of it are puns you make. None of it are puns. They're like catchy phrases for no for no ideas. And your voices though. They're are awful. It's like you make you make Fred run run for run for his money to, to, to get you to get you to do it. Besides, I don't know how many budget with all the movies with all the movies it has. So So basically it's a worse animation than the little Pentafire, the little cars one in the Great Race, Trans Gladiformers. Damn it. And what's up, Blue to the Rescue, and now this. God, um, film, film brain is right because because you never actually don't get any D, do you? Because the voices are the voices are like really high. It it had it runs for for Fred money, Fred Fruitcorn's money for no reason. Like come on. You make you make Freddy look more look more genius than than this movie is. Because come on. It's really awful. My god. If some movies that has many stuff like this, please do so. Because I love it how many movies they have to be to do this stuff. Yeah, and besides, the movie's not as good. So I, I give this movie. I give this movie, um. Usually 0 out of 0 points. As I did with all the movies I already did. So basically, this is for Bob Show, not for any, any of you, but except for Josh. He may like it. So. So basically, though. I hope Bob Show likes the movie. Movie reviews I did. By one reviewer, that must be me, and multiply. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember, music is life. And also, if you catch up all the movies right now, you will be dumb. You be dumber as a child is. Okay, so. Bye.